eleven thirty PM talking to some friend in Nepal, no sorry, uh, Bangladesh and got me to check the board and check the clock and more signals after we're about to give up. And I just noticed this guy, so let's have a quick look. There it is. That's a EMMC recom. EMMC recom. This is there. And let me just clean up this area. But I don't know if there should be something there. R eighteen ten. Hold on, R eighteen ten. Sixteen ninety four. Hmm. Okay. And let me check it should be there should be continuity. Okay, no, nothing in the motherboard. Let's run a continuity check.
Okay. It's B.I. Hold Room. It's B.I. Hold CPU. Okay. Found the fault. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm back. So now, okay. So what we're going to do is run a wire. So we need to run a wire from here, which connects to from here, which connects to that resistor. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to rush this. Take my time a little bit. Okay. So. In continuity mode. Let's bring our mm, right tool. <clears throat> Guy's name is Ashik. Let me just tell him. Okay, wonderful. Uh, now let's run a wire. We're going to use the Range Trust Hako for this operation. Sorry, Mr. Hako. Okay, we're going to bring JBC to the rescue.
what I'm trying to do there is just get the wire enable enable there's enable on this on this guy. You know what, we can run it from other part of the board. Let me see where. We'll do that. We'll run it from Super I.O. It's going to be that guy there. Let me see if I can get this wire to gently cross the river.
just should work. <laughs> oh. Now let's just check. That should have continuity there. Yep, it does. I'm not going to stress it further. So, what are we going to do? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Well, what's going to happen? Celebrate CPU V core together. I'm asking the tech, are you ready? That's the tech. It just popped out of nowhere. Put some requests around the web for help. <gasps> it's working. It's fucking working. It's fixed. Sixty milliamps. It's fucking working. Board is working. Look at me. Come up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get away. You can do it, mate. Get her. Okay. I know it did a... Oh, oh yes, yes, it's doing a bio 3 set. It should come on. The light should come on. Come on. 
Reboot. Maybe it needs more time. It's doing its programming. Yes! Come on, Come on. We should actually have a HDMI image. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. So we should have CPU V core. Oh, direct burn, no, fuck that. Okay. Voltage burn. <laughs> we have V core. We have success. We have success. This is fucking fantastic. Wow. Wow, this made my day. I had a shit day. I mean, with my pajamas, actually. Well, use this to sleep indoors. Sneak into the garage for only a short time, and this is what happens. Okay. I'm gonna fucking kiss this guy. I'll send him some money, definitely. <clears throat> he definitely deserves some money. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <coughs> Alright. I'll just call this guy up. And send him my thanks. One second. Okay, it's a new day today, so I'll recap this uh, job. I'll tell you what happened from all the way to beginning till now. So the board, you will see that it works now. And, I, and I'll show you what the problem was. And all the process I went through to find this fault. It wasn't that hard, actually, once um, you discovered the issue. Okay, so... Mm, switch okay so you got the power supply there we'll keep that window open uh we'll connect we'll leave hdmi so you can see it working now i'll switch back here shortly so here we go let's power on the unit nineteen volts three amps here we go This does not have a CMOS battery, so it will go through its loop in the beginning. Because there's no internal battery plugged in at the moment, so let's wait a bit more. So this is all normal, nothing to worry.
there we go okay so <clears throat> so that's the boot process so i'll just show you that it's much quicker now considering we haven't removed the power plug yet so i'm going to turn off the unit okay now press the power button it should go back to hdmi automatically we should see the ASA logo quickly. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so that's that's good. No problem with the uh, EMEA region. Okay, so we'll cut the power now. Disconnect this. Disconnect that. And that's keyboard mouse. Okay. So, um... Okay, so I'll show you some photos. Um, so yesterday, yesterday with the other tech from somewhere in India, I don't, know, I don't know the name. Sorry. So he asked me to check the clock. So this is the clock which is located there, uh, because we were not getting a pulse um, on the on the oscilloscope so trying to get a reading on the oscilloscope i just can't get a reading 100 millivolts in 200 nanoseconds just couldn't get a reading so he asked me to replace it and which i did and replacing it did not make a difference uh took it out from another laptop oh, here it is that's the that's the clock 32 kilohertz, I think. Okay. Um, that's that. And so that's the crystal I pulled from another laptop. Yeah. As to show that I was pulling, I was doing the right thing. So when I took this photo to show him that this is what I'm measuring, that's my soldering afterwards, I noticed that. See, this is actually just um, two pads. They're actually connected. This acts as a zero ohms resistor. So manufacturers are being lazy now. They're just doing this. Uh, they're not putting a pad. Uh, they're not putting a resistor, say when manufacturing. Um, hey, look, there's a 32 kilohertz there. That points to there. I didn't know. Okay. Um, so I noticed that under the microscope when I was focusing on this area. So you'll see in the video of me focusing there. So I'll show you there now. Uh, by the way, this guy, I'll show you what happens there in the schematics and board view. Uh, let's have a look at here. Here. So this is it. So over here, this guy here. This is um, SPI hold ROM and SPI hold CPU. Okay. And they, this one connects to here. So this, so the link between these two is actually broken. So CPU was waiting for something. There's no communication. So what I've done is, because this pad is heavily destroyed, what I've done is I've run a wire from, so this one connects to, next to the super IO, to this resistor, which is also a pad. So this is SPI hold ROM, and see that connects to the BIOS chip. That's why I was not getting a continuous reading. What was so interesting is, let's see, I was measuring these two, right? I never checked this seven. Never needed to. See on the oscilloscope when I put the multimeter into number two, which is data in, I believe. Um, yeah, and number five, which is data out. I only get very small communication, and then that's it. Uh, same with clock. Clock goes along with the data out or in at the same time, but only very little, and that's it. So this guy is important. This guy communicates with the CPU. This is important. Something to check, which I never usually check. So that's um, SPI hold. Okay. Something new to learn. So basically, the link from here to the CPU was broken. So, in a way, I was right focusing on the... Focusing on the... 
BIOS chip originally in the beginning because there was no communication happening. So I thought it's a BIOS chip. And then after that, focused on the Super IO. I flashed the Super IO as well using RT809F. There's a video on that too. And uh, that didn't work. Only thing I can think of is the onboard RAM, reflow each one, just with the heat gun um, until it moves a little bit, and then that's it. And uh, that didn't make any difference too. So, so I went around town, literally town. Um, so here, that's a nice supercar. Um, having a look at, I'll just show you, for example, bad caps. So I went on to Vinifix, bad caps, <sighs> um, Telegram forums, uh, some repair tech channels there. I po posted my question because you know there you get you get it's good to expose the problem to many people. Some people may have an interest and they might help. They might help you. So I posted my request here. I don't know how it looks on the. Uh, let me just move this window across. Okay. Yeah, so here you can see I posted the question in a way that's fully detailed as much as possible. So the person helping, in a way, understands I put a lot of effort into it and I'm serious about the repair, and they, are, they will be serious in helping out. So all the behaviors I noticed, all the measurements and the coil names and the resistance and voltage readings and this battery or turning on or not, you know, off position as well, Things I noticed, chips that are important, like this guy here was about to replace that chip, which wasn't the case. Um, what I've tried, you know, when you reflow things, people don't like it, but you can hide that info, but it's good to reveal, let them make their own decision based on what you've done. Uploaded all the files I've used to flash, including new one and old one. And by the way, this clock image is actually wrong. I measured a 24 kilohertz, I'm an idiot, you see, and yeah, 24 kilohertz resistor, which is on the other side. Oh, on the bottom left side, sorry, of the CPU. Um, any measurements that I read later on, as requested by the members in the ERS forums, I'll put them here too. And as we can see here, there's no communication of the... Um, it's uh, SVID line uh, for CPU, data and clock. And I gave the indication that CPU could be bad uh, by a couple of the members. So I was about to cook the motherboard. Uh, just, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. So luckily we didn't. And uh, the guy, I'll show you the guy's messages too. So let's go back to here. Okay. So here. Yeah, this guy, I'll show you, I don't mind. So, I posted this request to into this channel, Lal Babu's channel, Discord channel. So, here, and he asked me to check some information. Okay, and I checked that. Another text word, I shared that information, etc., etc. Da, 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 da. No idea what these mean. Okay. Anyway, so that guy, Ashik, so that's him. I tried to explain to him what I, maybe there's a language barrier. So I tried to explain to him what I'm talking about. He asked me to check these things. Um, that guy, their AC present, which didn't make sense to check that. So still, you know, check them. It was here, late 10 p.m. Continue, 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 continue. 
One thing he also mentioned was check using oscilloscope because we need a steady signal. Multimeter will pick up one signal, but what if it's fluctuating up and down so quick that multimeter doesn't pick up? So I switched to oscilloscope and measured, make sure that every time I measured it's a solid signal. Yep, 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 yep. So this part was a bit tricky for me. He said it, SOC is, is good, which is the one that making the signal low. This is something interesting. There's two power buttons, PM power button. And so I'll show you that. This is something new. Uh, I don't know. So go back to here. Go to here. So here, see, we got the normal power button, uh, which is KBC power button. When you press the power button on the switch on the computer, and it comes in this case here, ground, okay, comes here. And this is what actually does the keyboard power button press. Okay. And that's what switches on the computer. But there is one more thing. So, and then the KBC sends that signal to the CPU, which is PM power button, which is 123, which is this guy here. And this guy connects to the CPU here. And if that works, there's a good chance their CPU is actually fine. Well, that's something I didn't know. Um, that's that. Uh, let's go back to switcherino. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that's my message about that. There's a lot of logic people don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, program KBC, yes. I don't know, maybe something about newer generations once, maybe verified. Super IO information? I don't know. So I sent him my information, which really didn't help. So that's where he's... Oh, there's one more thing. There's the input and output. Like there is um, two sides to a clock. So you might check one side, okay, but you need to check the other side. And... <laughs> yeah. He wants a 32. Okay. That's the picture that I showed you. Replace it. Okay. Okay, that's what I replaced with. And that's where I noticed that during the time I was working. And replaced it. Okay, that's when I noticed that area. That's how you, what the damage looked like. And in the video, you can see what I did to fix that part. Mm -hmm. So EMMC recomp resistor is the one on the left, next to the next to the capacitor. So that's the capacitor. That's that one there. And R eighteen ten is what's um, damaged the link. In continuity mode, there was no continuity between the two. And so that's the link that was basically broken. Yep. SPI W uh, SPI hold ROM and SPI hold CPU. Okay, run a wire. Yep. And there we go. That's the one. Wonderful. Yeah, in Turkish, Ashik means love. Love this guy. <laughs> but anyway, I called him, say thank you. I sent him some money for his help, and it was a great help. So if you have CPU issues, RTC section is where you should focus on. That's what he's saying. Um, now, that's that. So you can watch the video of me repairing it finally. Actually, you, you watch that part fixing. Now I'm going to make this cable uh, more permanent. So it's been sitting like this. So that's what I will do now. I've packed this guy and it will leave on Monday. Today is beautiful Friday. Weekend is here. Now we're going to use... Uh, one second, I'll bring the... Deactivate, activate. Okay, here we are. Okay. Just want to make sure that this is all good. So we're going to use UV mask. Uh, 
as thin as possible. Okay, all the way. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> I should have one more tweezer. If I didn't lose it. Okay, let's make do what we got. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do? Too much? Okay, let me just put some UV light on that quickly. It's a lot, I know. Okay, let that stay there. I'm just trying to get this cable to stay solid to a certain degree.
just keep it there for a little bit. Okay, great. Maybe great. I'm not sure. Okay, let it be. Okay, definitely we need to put some there. So what we should do, well that's kind of drying up. <coughs> Put some new thermal paste. Some are already there. I've got it open, might as well. Okay. I now use labels, label maker on everything here. Makes my life easy. Let's just check how that's going. Maybe we can just finalize the UV light process a little more. That's strong enough or anything. It's 
slightly, that's fine. So here we'll run the cable which way. Yeah, my finger touched that like an idiot. So I can be clumsy. Okay, I'll just let that be. Okay. Okay, that's that. Now figuring out where these guys go is the next challenge. Can't remember. I think it's on the other side. No freaking idea what I'll do. Pause the video, I'll come back, find where they went. Alright, so I figured it out. It actually should go here. Okay, that's wonderful, nice and solid. The tape is easy on the other side. Okay, we're good to go with this guy. It's already nice and strong. Okay, it won't break off, hopefully. Okay. And this guy will simply. It should just go like this. Charger comes from. Hmm. That's how it's supposed to go. Okay. 
All right, give it a quick tape. Okay, just do one quick test. And then we'll pack it up. Power usage is good, it should come up. Okay, I'm waiting for Razer logo. I'll mute the microphone while I finish up this job. I don't know answer. All right, so that's officially the end of this job. So I'll just put it back and I should have a nice working base the laptop. Let's see if I can put it back, let's try. And uh, the parts for this guy, here we are. Hmm.
I do remember this connector is broken. So that's the bottom plate. It's the wrong place to put a screw. This one looks slightly different size than the other. It's maybe for the battery or for CPU. The fan. That's for that. That's from the top casing, top casing, top casing. Top casing, nothing there, battery, Uh, let me just check that I receive an SSD. It will be here. No, no SSD. And that tape will go here. And these guys, but we're missing that cover. Oh, there's one more screw there. Kind of bizarre, right?
Okay, so basically that was there before. Okay. Let's fix this guy. That guy, are we going to fix that? this be perfect size okay let's cut it out a little bit Yeah, that should technically do it. Unless I've got a thicker one here. Yeah, this will be better. And I shouldn't take it out. This one's already nice and firm, but I just don't feel it's firm enough. Okay. That's better. Uh, we'll just put a tape over that. Okay, so technically we should now have a computer that's booting, turning on. Not sure about the battery level. Oh, it's got some charge. It's coming on. Yep, charging indicator. And which Linux should we run? We'll run. Um, no, secure boot is enabled. Eh? I don't want to mess with that. So let's just boot to Windows 11.
And there we go. That's booting uh, Windows 11 setup. Wonderful. Happy days. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.